Good morning, everyone. Leah Dixon here from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. I am live again on Wednesday morning. Um, you can find me on my Facebook page as well as my Facebook group and on YouTube at nine o'clock almost every Wednesday morning. Um, on the first Wednesday of the month, I do a card class to go. Um, and then the rest of the month, I either do a featured card with a stamp set or I feature one of our new kits. Um, right now, though, with our our annual catalog and our mini catalog both coming close to retirement, I am featuring um, retiring products, products that I absolutely love and am so sad to be seeing go. Good morning, Kim. Um, so this morning I am featuring the Biggest Wish stamp set. This has been one of my favorite stamp sets since it first came out. And um, we do have a coordinating stamp set. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop so you guys can really see the products that I'm talking about. And we're going to get started crafting. So this is the Biggest Wish stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. And it's just some great sentiments that work together so, so nicely. Um, we do have the More Wishes stamp set, which is carrying over into our new annual catalog um, that has some nice holiday sentiments. Um, I do find, though, that I actually like using the two together. So in our one that's carrying over, we have things like New Year Wishes, which is nice, but I much prefer to be able to type out like happy new year um and just you know birthday wishes that goes so well together so the two work beautifully together so i'm happy that i've got biggest wishes in my collection i'll be keeping it even though it's retiring um so if you do not have this stamp set you're gonna want it especially after today's card all right i'm gonna put this off to the side and we are going to get started crafting um, I am using almost exclusively retiring products, um, with the exception of our cardstock. Now, our cardstock is going up slightly in price, so if you do have favorite colors, I would also grab them now before May 1st, um, because the price will be going up on May 1st. So, we're going to start with our piece of Berry Burst cardstock. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite die sets um, that unfortunately are also returned. These are the tailor-made tags. Now these are so much fun because you've got the two different styles of tags in the different sizes. And then we also have the little pieces to decorate the holes on our tags. Um, so they're fantastic. I am going to use, it doesn't really matter, um, but you want to use the second largest size. Um, the largest size just gets a little too big for the card front um, for this particular card. So I'm going to use the second largest um, shape here. And I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, now that's another item that is going up in price. Both our stamp and cut and emboss machine and our mini are increasing slightly in price. Um, so just things to be aware of if you've had them on your wish list. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut that. And there we go. And pop that all out. Okay, remove that little dot. Excellent. All right, so there we have our tag cut. Um, now, I didn't do it on my card, but I did contemplate doing one of the frames um, in Azure Afternoon, which is the blue in the DSP that we're going to be using. Um, but in the end, I just decided to keep my colors really simple. All right, and here's our card. Now, this card looks quite complicated, but it's actually not um, because the main part of our card is actually done with designer series paper. Um, this is another designer series paper that is retiring. Um, I've had so much fun doing stamp camps and everything with this one. This was the masterfully made designer series paper 12 by 12. And it looks like torn paper bits, torn cardstock, torn designer series paper. Um, but the joy of it is that you don't have to do any of the tearing. It's already been done and put together for you. 
So it's really quite an interesting um, designer series paper. And then oh, this was one of my favorite pieces. So some really, really nice patterns on there. There is a retiring stamp set that coordinates with this, but I actually um, never got it. I've always just partnered this up with other stamp sets. All right, so because we're gonna be doing some stamping now, I'm going to bring in my piece of designer series paper. Now there are words on here, so you wanna look at them, make sure you've got them in the right direction. And I'm going to use some berry burst ink. Oh, the color scheme on this one, Kim, is fantastic. It was really um, designed to kind of highlight some of the new colors when they did our color refresh, and they did such a nice job of it. So I'm going to use my berry burst here, and I'm going to stamp happy right down at the bottom. Now, on my original card, I didn't do a happy above because it got really dark, and there was all that... Um, berry burst there anyways but because this one is a little bit lighter i'm going to do a second happy on the lower side then i'll skip the chunk that has the berry burst and afternoon azul in it and i'm actually going to come in and stamp at the top and work my way down that's just so that i can make sure that um i don't end up with a cut off happy at the top or um or like not enough space to stamp one. All right, so there we go. I've stamped my happy along the left-hand side of my designer series paper. I know some of you don't like stamping on DSP because it's a little bit scary. If you mess it up, you've messed up a piece of DSP, not just a piece of cardstock. Um, but be brave. It's a really easy stamp to work with. Practice on a scrap paper beforehand if you want, um, but I promise you it works out really nicely. All right, with that done, I am also going to stamp my happy just on a scrap piece of paper in Berry Burst again. Right. And it doesn't really matter the size of your paper or anything as long as the word fits on there because we're going to be fussy cutting this. All right. Now I'll put away that ink and I'm going to grab... Um, my Versamark. So I've got my tag here. I'm going to be using some pieces from my embossing additions toolkit. So I'm going to start with my embossing buddy, which is just, um, I'm not actually sure what's in it, but it's basically to take away any of the oils that might be on this cardstock or any anything else that um, the embossing potter is going to want to stick to. Then I'm going to grab my Versamark ink and ink up my birthday sentiment. And I'm going to stamp this. Now, I had done it quite far over to the right on my original one. I'm going to move it a little bit more centered for this one. I've realized the, the bow doesn't take up as much space as I thought it would. So there we have our birthday nicely inked in Versamark. And then I'm going to bring in, um, I keep white powder just all the time in my tray. Um, you don't have to. You can, of course, pack yours up and use your trays, your tray for multiple colors. I just have multiple trays, so I don't have to pack them away. So we're going to run our stamped image through our embossing powder. Um, yours is still so chubby. Um, yeah, I, I emboss on a daily basis, Kim. <laughs> I'm a little bit addicted. Uh, and then I'm going to use the reverse tweezers that come with my stamp and emboss kit. Um, it also comes with a little paintbrush that is great for removing any excess um, powder. If you get powder around the edges, if you forget to use the embossing buddy, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, I didn't need that today. So I'm going to hold it with my reverse tweezers so I don't get my fingers too warm. And I'm going to bring in my heat tool here. Hopefully I don't blow everything off my desk.
our heat embossed sentiment. Um, so with that done, we're going to start actually putting our card together. Um, so I'm going to grab a bubble bath. I always want to call it bubble gum. A bubble bath cardstock base. And I'm going to glue my... Um, my DSP right onto the card front. Now, if you're doing this and you do mess up, you're happy and you're just really unhappy about that. The cool thing about this one is I think this card would look as good with out the happy and just flip your paper over, you know, kind of maybe decide, I think I want my blue in this, in the top, kind of like it's a blue sky, but the back side of this particular piece of cardstock or designer series paper is absolutely gorgeous. And so if you did by mistake mess up your happy stamping, you could just flip it over and do it without and you'd have a really beautiful fun card as well. Um, so I'm, I was actually sad to have to glue this set. <laughs> Um, now, some of these retired items that I'm using, they're retired, they're awesome. You definitely want to grab them before they're gone. But even better than that is as of yesterday, they are on sale. Um, this designer series paper, the Masterfully Made, is actually 30% off. So instead of being $17, in Canada, it is only $11.90 now for the 12 by 12 pack. So it's really an awesome deal. Um, your tailor-made tags are not on sale, but I'm sorry, they're an awesome deal anyways. They're only $30 for the eight dies and then the two dies that do like the little pieces around the hole. So um, really, really awesome deal. And then I'm going to be using some bubble bath ribbon, and it's actually a three pack. You get Azure Afternoon, Lemon Lolly, and Bubble Bath. Um, and this is called our Sheer Ribbon Combo Pack. And this pack is also 30% off. It's regular $17 Canadian on sale for $11.90. And you get all three rolls of ribbon. So I'm going to be using um, a piece of the bubble bath. And I'm just going to tuck it through. Here we go. And then just see how much do I need to make a cute little bow. And I'll just cut that off right there. So this is a nice like ribbon saving trick is, you know, kind of put it through, figure out how much you need before you cut. Um, so with that done, I am now, I'm not even tying like a knot or anything. I'm just making my two bunny ears. So I wanna make sure my two ends are pretty even. Make my two bunny ears, wrap them around each other. And doing it that way creates this really nice um, kind of squarish knot in the center. And then you just kind of decide how big you want your bow and how long you want your tails on your bow and snip accordingly. All right. Yeah. So that's how we create a really nice bow on our tag. And I'm going to use dimensionals to attach that to my card front. Now you can attach it wherever you want. Um, I kind of wanted mine centered, but I also am going to be aware of not covering up too much of this beautiful blue paper. So I am going to actually kind of cover up one or two of my happies near the top. Um, you could also do it down near the bottom, but I just, I liked how it looked doing it up near the top. Um, and I am going to use actually quite a few dimensionals on here. Um, if Janine is watching, I know you're laughing at me. Um, she thinks I use too many dimensionals. I don't think there's such a thing. Uh, and I'm gonna peel those off. All right, so I want it to be about like that. Now I do want it on an angle and I'm kind of looking at the angle of how this was torn to help me decide the angle I'm putting it on. All right. So every card will be slightly different because the pattern on your paper will be slightly different. 
Now we stamped that happy. We're going to grab some paper snips and get to work cutting this up. So I'm just going to snip that so I can use that piece for something else later. And we're going to fussy cut. Now the real trick to fussy cutting is to really move your paper more than you move your scissors. And you can fussy cut this as close and as detailed as you want, or, you know, just go around the outside and don't get all, don't get all fussy with it. Totally your choice. Um, I just find that you can't just chop a piece big enough for this because the piece was so wide, like the piece I used was pretty much as small as you could get to have the, the top of the H and the bottom of the Y. And that just creates a big chunk on your card front that I didn't want for this one because I really want to show off the DSP. All right. There we go. And so there are a ton of things on sale. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to look at the last chance list and see all the sale items. We have up to 60% off on some items that are retiring. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then I also shared a list of items that are going to be going up in price. Of course, with the economy that we've got, everything's going up in price. And unfortunately, our stamp supplies are no different. Um, so basics like some of our adhesives and envelopes, cardstock, um, oh, blending brushes, blends, all sorts of things, our inks, um, everything's going up. Some of it's going up modestly, you know, just a 25 cent increase. And some of it is actually jumping quite a bit. Um, so you'll definitely want to take a look at that and stock up on some of your essentials um, before the price goes up. All right, there we go. We've got our happy cut out. <clears throat> um, the smaller dimensionals are the same height as the larger ones, yes, um, which is nice. So you can mix and match. Um, and I'm about to use my smaller dimensionals on my happy here. Um, so yeah, they're the same height, um, just a different footprint. Um, so that's really, really nice. So I am actually going to be using some minis here on the back of those two P's and on the top of the H, it just fits in and, mm, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in. I might've cut too close on my Y. Well, we'll see. Mm, yeah, that's too close on the Y, plus I want that hanging over the edge, so we'll skip the Y. All right, so I've just got three dimensionals on the back of my happy, kind of keeping them above the, above the bottom line, so those, the letters that drop down, the two P's and the Y, that's okay. And we're going to put this on here so that those actually drop down. Now, my original one was kind of further over. This one I'm going to move because of just how my um, my ribbon is falling. So you always want to just kind of go with the flow of how the pieces are on your card and adapt that. All right. So we've got that done. Now I'm going to make another little change here because... On my original card, I had more space up here and less space down here. So I'm going to change up how I embellished this as well to accommodate the layout of this card. Um, so I am using the iridescent rhinestones. These are retiring. They are 40% off. Um, so regular 1025, they're now only 615. Um, and let's see, I'm going to try and use up these. So I do try and do like rule of threes. So I'm going to start down here and do like that. Um, but then I'm going to pop in another one right about there. And then up at the top, I'm only going to put in two instead of three. And so you've got like a triangle there and a triangle there. And it kind of balances out on 
your card. So that's how I kind of decide where to put my embellishments. Now on this card, I feel like I could almost put two more right in here on the tag, but I'm just worried that might make it a little too busy. So we're gonna, we're gonna refrain from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. That is our finished card. So you can see the two cards are slightly different, um, but same concept and just kind of using how the piece of DSP you have um, is working. So really, really quick and easy card. I love that the DSP does all the work for you. Um, and definitely, if you don't own some of these things, um, these are beautiful additions to your craft room and they're on sale right now so yay um oh thank you so much um i'm glad you guys liked that card and um i will be posting um until the end of the month um, more cards and samples and stuff that show off some of our retiring products that are still available. Now, I say they're still available, but what that really means is they were available five minutes before I started this video, and anything can happen during a retirement sale. Um, so if you're interested, please don't delay. I do have an ordering special. Um, as always, with a $65 order before shipping and taxes, I have the Crafty Collaborations tutorial bundle to share with you. It's a PDF filled with um, this month 43 amazing projects that use um, product that you can currently get. And, um, and then for orders over $75, I'm actually mailing out mystery embellishments. I have embellishments that are still current, but are retiring. In fact, I have some embellishments that were on the retiring list and are gone. Um, and so I have full packs of those ready and waiting to go out in the mail for any orders over $75 as a thank you as well. So get both the PDF and the embellishment. Um, as well as some awesome sale prices. So definitely don't wait if there's things that you're interested in. And um, I will see you guys next Wednesday with another card. I cannot tell you what I'll be featuring because it'll depend on what's still available out of our retiring products. All right. Have a great day, everyone.